Hi viewers, welcome to Vidya Lakshmi YouTube channel. This is TR Nesh, Economics Department. Today we are going to see lesson number 12 from standard 11, Mathematical Methods of Economics. So, let us start with the lesson with the important quote. The quote given by J. M. Keynes, John Maynard Keynes, he was one of the person who was a Nobel laureate. Nobel laureate, no, Nobel Prize Wagner. When the Nobel Prize was announced, he was the first person who received the Nobel Prize. Okay. The master economist, the Purulial Nibunar the master economist must possess a rare combination of gifts. A rare combination. Example, Max on the science narrator. Science nala punnuvanga max nare pare seri ponnu matam. Ana but economics he is a master in all the three fields. He must be a mathematician, historian, statesman, philosopher to some degree because we are the national builders. So we should establish our knowledge in all the great fields. That is why we are discussing the two major topics. Economics is a branch of two important topics as we know very well, microeconomics and macroeconomics. Are you clear? So, that is the point quote is in the start. He must be mathematician, historian, statesman, philosopher to some degree. Next, learning objective. Cutral in Nokam. In the lesson, I will tell you Number one. Why mathematics is required for economics? Now, you know very well economics is a theory subject. All the measures we want to present in a very lengthy theory form. All the measures we want to present in a very lengthy theory form. That is the chapter. To learn the knowledge of mathematical methods as a facility for self-expression, not only in descriptive economics, but also in quantitative economics. Okay, in, in a quantitative form. Not in a lengthy manner. Make it as a quantitative. So, these are the two major learning objectives. Number one, mathematics is required. Number two, the methods. Next, introduction. Economics analysis is a systematic approach. It is a system. It's a, they laid already a proper platform. Number one, determine, 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 determine the optimum use of scarce user resources. You know that very well, as India is a very densely populated country. The availability of source is very minimum. That is why maximum satisfaction. Number two, choose available alternatives and select the best alternative to achieve a particular object. Some of them are tough options, some of them may be very easy option or some of them may be very very difficult option, whatever it may be, which will be uh, useful to us, which will be very useful, uh, quick understanding, analyze. Mathematical methods are helpful for achieving the objectives of economic analysis. Mathematics okay? Uh, further, we are going to study the same topic in length, elaborate manner, little elaborate manner in plus two also. Okay, econometrics in a particular max every use for okay. Next, why we need to study the mathematics? Why study mathematics? Yeah, max pakano. The subject economics deals with many quantitative variables, variables on the array and functions in consumption, production, distribution and policy making. Okay, we know that very well. This is the basic one important. Without consumption, we can't start producing the goods. At the same time, we can't distribute it. Hence, the mathematical method will help economists to use the quantitative variables in a better way and to obtain accurate results. Example the lengthy and the descriptive economic contents can be clearly set in simple notation. One simple or equation kulla namlala kundo aramudiyo. Okay. For example, the number of pen demanded in a given time period in a higher secondary school is 200. When price is zero, this decreases by 10 for every rupees 1, rise in the price of pen. 
அப்படியே ரொம்ப வள வளவலான்னு பெருசாக இருக்கும் ஒன்றும் புரியல ரொம்ப சிம்பிள் த நம்பர் ஆஃப் பென் டிமாண்டட் இன் அ கிவன் டைம் பீரியட் இன் ஹையர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் இஸ் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் பென் வென் ப்ரைஸ் இஸ் ஜீரோ ஜீரோவாக இருக்கும்போது திஸ் டிக்ரீஸஸ் பை டென் ஃபார் எவ்ரி ருபீஸ் ஒன் ரைஸ் இன் த ப்ரைஸ் ஆஃப் பென் இது எப்படி சார் போடலாம் வெரி சிம்பிள் வாட் இஸ் அ குவான்டிட்டி டிமாண்டட் கியூ போட்டுக்கோ இட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ்ட் இன் மேத்தமெட்டிக்கலி ஆஸ் கியூ ஈக்குவல் டு டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் மைனஸ் டென் பி அதை அப்படியே இங்கே எடுத்துக்கிறோம் ப்ரைஸை நம்ம ஜீரோ ஆகிற வரைக்கும் சொல்லிட்டோம் ஓகே ஸோ ஆஸ் அ குயிக் எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் ரொம்ப ஷார்ட்டாக இப்படி கொண்டு வரலாம் கியூ ஈக்குவல் டு டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் மைனஸ் டென் பி இயர் கியூ இஸ் த குவான்டிட்டி அண்ட் பி இஸ் த ப்ரைஸ் தஸ் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ்ட் வித் சிம்பிள் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ரொம்ப சிம்பிளாக கொண்டு வந்துட்டோமா ஸோ இ குயிக்லி வெரி குயிக்லி வி கேன் டிரைவ் ஓகே that is why we are utilizing the math max here applying the max here next functions functions definition definition na ilakanam a function is a mathematical relationship idu and or two mark what is function define the definition of function namak two mark varum a function is a mathematical relationship function adana definition na ilakana na artham function kaana ilakana nam eludrom in which the values of a dipen variable are determined or determined by the values of one or more independent variable inga vandu x we know that x axis and y axis x axis is independent y axis is independent dependent in the independent value la edavadhu or changes vandha adha kandipa enna agum dependent ah affect pannum functions with a single independent variable are called simple univariate function functions with a single independent ore or variable mattum irundha then it is called a simple univariate function there is one to one correspondence avladha between one to one one value to another value next suppose idhe vandu more than one ah irundha enna sir multivariate avladha very simple functions with more than one independent variable are called multivariate single ah irundha simple more than one ah irundha multivariate okay the independent variable is often designated as x and y dependent variable is y independent variable designated by y x and dependent variable by y <laughs> y is a function of x <coughs> means y depends on x first or function solrom y is function function of x means y depends on x or the value of y is determined by the value of x example demand and supply okay demand nammude demand increase aaga aaga automatically no the price of the good will increase appo idu edha depend pani irukke the x axis is independent value the demand is independent but the price is dependent appo demand increase avuma automatically price also will increase mathematically one can write y equal to f of x y equal to f of x okay next linear equation a statement of relation between two quantities is called an equation called an equation rendu quantities nama compare panni solradunala adha enna solra it is an equation in an equation if the largest power power of the independent variable is 1 in an equation if the largest power of the independent variable is 1 then it is called as linear equation power value 1 ah irundha adu linear equation such equation when graphed as straight line romba simple previous ah paathadha quantity equal to 200 minus 10p adu abbe inga kondu varu poravala dhaan for example y equal to 100 minus 10x are you clear avanga eppadi kudutala nam easy ah na pannalam we can analyze and brought under a quick conclusion kondu vandalam next for a straight line there are two variable namely x and y for a straight line x is called independent and y is called dependent example demand and supply ungalku already solten quick ah adha mattum mind la vechukom edhu x independent x axis is a independent example demand quantity demanded equal to nama equilibrium la paathirpom samanilai demanded equal to quantity demanded equal to quantity supply and adhe adhe format da inga okay when x value increases by 1 unit increase aagumbodhu then the corresponding change in the y value is called as slope of the line appo enna automatically line change aaguma that is why it is called as slope formula m equal to y2 y1 by x2 x1 
change in y divided by change in x. A x of kilo potong because it is independent. Example nama mark anda what is your average na anje subjecto five subjects a add pon itu five ada divide pon oleh admar tu. The five hundred is a fixed. Admar dari ura ura anda ura independent awal. Ebenya na five hundred la tenth la five hundred plus one la six hundred. College pun boleh value nu increase awal marks increase awal. One small recap. See the formula again. M equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 equal to. This is what I'm saying. Why are you saying this? Because the change in y divided by change in x. For example, the mark average is not the same. Let's continue to do this. Next. Where x1, y1 and x2, y2 are the two points. Are two arbitrary points. Arbitrary is the same. They are independent of free and move. Slope or gradient of the line represents the ratio of changes in vertical and horizontal lines. Rendah itu vary on x axis as well as y axis. The formula for constructing a straight line is, umbo simple an, dengan kita already the six, eight, ninth, even tenth line ini adalah putar biaya, very minimum level max sah, y minus y one equal to m into x minus x one. Anu formula dah. If two points are, rendah point putar orang, zero koma zero and x koma y, just asum or assumption dah. Then the formula is y equal to m max. Okay. Now, we will see some examples of the same example. Example 12.1. Textbook refer to the same thing. Example 12.1. Find the equation of a straight line which passes through 2.2,2 and 4, minus 8 which are x1, y1 and x2, y2. That's how you apply it. In the note, you can copy it. Note it. Here, the first line Here, what do we do? x1 and x2 value. What is the x1 value? x1 equal to 2. Here, x1 equal to 2. Very simple. You have already taken the sums of the sums. x1 equal to 2 and y1 equal to 2. Then x2 equal to 4 and y2 equal to minus 8. Then write on the formula here. y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 equal to y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 equal to x minus x1. x minus x1 divided by x2 minus minus x1 x2 minus x1 इप्पो सब्सट्रैट पुण्य ना सब्सट्रैट द वैल्यू y1 ना वैल्यू ना मगे व्हाट इस वैल्यू फॉर y1 y1 नोड वैल्यू टू y माइनस y1 नोड वैल्यू टू डिवाइड बाय y2 नोड वैल्यू ना माइनस एट y1 नोड वैल्यू अगेन माइनस टू इक्वल टू x माइनस x1 वैल्यू टू डिवाइड बाय x2 माइनस x1 फोर माइनस टू y minus 2 divided by minus 10 equal to x minus 2 divided by 2. So, this is cross multiply. 2 into 2 into y minus 2 equal to minus 10 into x minus 2. This is the multiply of 2y minus 4 equal to minus 10x minus 10x plus 
plus 20. இது அப்படியே exchange முனியும். 4 அந்த பக்கும் கொண்டு போங்க. 2y equal to 2y equal to minus 10x plus 20 plus 4 that is equal to 2y equal to minus 10x plus 24. This is simply y equal to 2 alla divide pundi yaro y equal to minus 5x plus 12. So, we know the formula y equal to mx plus c. So, where 12 is a constant. mx plus c. y equal to minus 5x plus 12. This is how we copy. So, previous one, what is the result? What is the result we obtain? y equal to minus 5x plus 12 now, we are going to apply x value x 0 y in result y 0 and x in dependent okay intercept value in dependent when x equal to 0 0 apply this y equal to minus 5 into 0 plus 12 y equal to 12 when y equal to 0 are x minus 5x y first question 5x plus 12 for y equal to 0 0 put 0 equal to minus 5x plus 12. At the step, go down. In the minus in the bottom, the plus 5x are married. Plus 1 on the necessary, not necessary. Direct on up on learning 5x equal to 12 and pola. Up x equal to 12 by 5. So finally, x equal to 2.4. Okay. This is a graph. So copy down this. Okay, Mushila. Next, the final step. So, in the graph, we will drop on x axis. This quantity demand. Demand is x axis. Price is a dependent. Demand based on the price. So, hence we get the slope 2.4. 2.4 is the same. When the y equal to x equal to 0, and the y equal to 12. 12 is point. Next x y is 0 x is 2.4 so finally we come to a conclusion so this is the value we are obtaining when x equal to 0 and y equal to 12 and y equal to 0 and x equal to 2.4 okay thank you all remaining will continue in the next session thank